guys, we are back. The Monuments 99 above and beyond schizophrenia. So, I want to make. I want to talk about schizophrenia and Eight Mile. That's a weird, weird combination because anybody seen Eight Mile? If you've seen Eight Mile, you know it has nothing to do with schizophrenia. It doesn't have anything to do with schizophrenia. I don't think Eminem has a, uh, has uh, schizophrenia or uh, uh, had schizophrenia or anything like that. So how the hell am I talking about schizophrenia and uh, an eight mile, right? Because, well, you know, people always say, you hear this more nowadays, right? People always say, you know, I need, we need to have more people who either look like us or have the, uh, the, the condition that we have who are represented you know, and representing us in in, in, in certain um, in, in certain media, right? Because we can't be inspired unless people have the same condition we have, or they look like us. That's not how inspiration works. At least not for anybody who wants to be inspired, truly. So I made a video last time, right? And it's about paranoia. It's schizophrenia paranoia. So I had to this I, I, I made this video. This one, this topic, before that video on, on paranoia. Um, but I made that specifically because someone had requested it. And some of that topic kind of overlapped with this one. So I'm kind of redoing this video. So I just thought I'd put that out there. Uh so, because it's gonna, and I'm gonna might touch on some of those topics a little bit, just not to the extent that I did previously. So, when it comes to inspiration, right? You have you in order to get through this illness, this condition, you have to draw inspiration from somewhere, right? Because just your regular everyday effort is not enough right it's not going to be enough right because this thing is going to push you to the breaking point as it did with me and many others some who got completely broken and so that they are no longer with us anymore and that was almost uh, where I went. How did Eight Mile help me? When I went to that place where I was going to off myself, and I nearly did. I was really close, you know, I had a knife to my chest, right? So, when I came back from that, that mind There was a inspirational energy, right? That was filling me. And when I left that garage with a determination that I was not, was no longer going to live my life in a isolation 
in a, a defeated, cowardly, cowering mindset when I'm going to face the world. I'm looking each person in the eye, loving them, respecting them, treating them how I would like to be treated, not how I felt that they were trying to treat me and how my, my emotional responses was trying to treat them with hatred, resentment, and thoughts of destruction. So I came out with this energy of willing, wanting to uh, overcome the world. And it was like a high. It was like a high, right? I was, this was the path that I must walk, right? And I was shocked that I never saw this before. <laughs> but it was so clear to me now, this was the way, right? One of the movies I watched, and I watched this before reaching this point, but while I was going up on this high and this energy of conquering, my memory brought me back to a mile and Eminem. And I started to think about his experience being a white person in a black arena, so to speak, you know, predominantly black arena, being an outcast, the sore thumb, and how he handled that on the mic, you know, you know, if you watch 8 Mile, you know it's about Eminem battle rapping, right, it's a great movie, great movie, man, it's really, uh, really inspiring, because one of the things that, I'm, and I'm not going to you know, I might say some things. If you haven't watched the movie, I might spoil it a little bit, but I try not to get too much into it. Um, I just want to talk about the, the battle rapping aspect and how I saw myself, I put myself in his situation, and when he was battle rapping these other guys, I imagined that they were the symptoms of schizophrenia that I was facing, man. And because I had this mindset of taking on my fears, challenging them, no longer running from them, like I'm talking about the paranoia, the thought broadcasting, and, 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 and the, the anxiety, and, the, and, and, and the, the fears, and all that emotional turmoil that comes from all these things. The delusions and so forth, right? So, If you notice, there's when Eminem first, uh, we first get him battle rapping, man. Uh, he he battle rap this this uh, this one guy, and and this guy, he was good, and. He hit Eminem with some punches that got him stuck and he froze. It's like he got exposed and he didn't know what to do. Everybody's looking at him, hearing what he's going to say. Can he say anything? 
palms are sweaty. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's, it's that shaking moment. What are you going to do? Are you going to pull back or are you going to step forward, man? And we all know what that what, what that is and what happens, man. We pull back. Right? The stress comes. The thought broadcasting comes. You're exposed. People looking at you are talking about the things that you want to keep hidden. Letting you know that they're in your head violating you. What are you going to do? You're going to retreat. That's what we've always done, right? That's what M did. Yeah. So he took that loss. That was me. That was me. That was me, man. That was me. That was me constantly. And I'm watching this, and I was like, oh, my gosh. That's it. That's me. You know, but I know what's going to happen, and I'm just waiting for it, right? So, M, yeah, you, you got hit. Everybody's looking at you. They start laughing. They start booing. They, you know what I mean? And your shame. Your shame, man. <coughs> your shame. So, what do you do? You retreat. You run. You get out of there. Right? That's what it is. The whole world looking at you, man. Everybody's looking at you, laughing at you. Oh, uh, no. You're exposed, man. Or you retreat. You retreat. But, man, you know, through some things that happened and blah, 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 blah. Watch this, watch this movie, man. So M comes back again. That's it. You don't just get knocked down and you stay down, man. You go back. Rick, what did he do? <coughs> he didn't wait until the environment was good. Till every the audience was more patient. Everybody was more understanding. The world around him was more loving and peaceful and caring and uh, all that stuff. He didn't wait for any of that. What did M do? He went back to the freaking battlefield, the same freaking arena, man. The same arena that he got knocked out in. Oh my gosh. This is what I tell you, man. It's the same fire that burns you. The same fire that's going to forge you and build you up, man. That's where M went back. And it's one thing if you're forced to go into it. You won't stand. But if you choose to go back into it. Different, it's a different battle. M chose to go back in. This time, man, they got it. <laughs> it's not gonna be the same battle as last time. <laughs> last time was battling one dude, he got knocked out. This time, he's they got they got a bunch of guys lined up for him. Right? <laughs> it ain't the same. It's gonna be harder the second time you go back in. Right? So he went back in. <coughs> they bring out one guy, you know. He comes, he talks his nonsense, you know. They, they take those cheap shots, easy, yeah, gimme shots, you know, those easy ones. And, you know, whatever. This time, though, it's a different mindset because you have an idea of what he's going to face. They're going to hit you, man. They're going to come swinging, so you got to be prepared. You can't be second-guessing. You can't be, you know, uh, uh, starting looking at yourself and, and doubting yourself and uh, being a critic like everybody else looking at you, judging you. <coughs> I got a little cough here. But <coughs> well, you can't do that. Stay within yourself. You're you. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <coughs> you know? You gotta stay you. Stay stay focused, man. Stay within yourself. So, that took it. Then he came back. 
Boom! Knock this guy out. The audience loved it, man. They're cheering. They're laughing at his punchlines, man. He won. He got the victory. Right? Because he decided to go there because he had all the skills. He had everything that was necessary to win. He just didn't have the confidence. Now he's got some more confidence, man. He's gonna go out swinging. If you're gonna, if you're gonna lose, you go out fighting. Don't go out. Don't get. There should be no scars on your back, right? Let me just drop this right. To all you Christians, you know the Bible says, "Take on the whole armor of God." The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You know it says all that stuff, but you know what? There is nothing for the back. There's no armor for the back. Why? There's no cowards in the army. <laughs> There's no cowards. If you're getting wounds in your back, it means you're running. <coughs> it means you're running away. Right? You, the, the soldiers only move forward. They don't retreat. There's no retreat, no surrendering. You understand? <laughs> that's what it is. Right? So that's what M said. There's no, there's not going to be any mark on his back this time. So he's pressing forward, man. He's armored up. Right? He's armored up and pressing forward. So we knock the first guy out. The second guy comes in. Oh, man, this guy's fierce, you know? I think that was Lotto. And he was he was just, you know, he's got this, this energy, man, that's fierce. And he came on, and he, you know, he took some nice shots. He hit him a bit, <coughs> staggered him. But he came back. Boom! Knocked him out again. For this time, right? This guy gets knocked out. Audience loved it. You know, a lot of had to retreat. <laughs> and then I think the last one is the kind of uh, he's the, 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 the he asked the boss, ask the boss, man. And this guy now, you know, he he, he runs his other guys, right? So and him and M, they had some little issues before there's some little things there right so now they come on they did a little coin toss thing and they okay who gets to go first so this guy wanted to toss he says M let M go for it let this you know what I mean? <laughs> let this guy go for it let this rabbit go first and uh, and it's funny because his name is rabbit and the rabbit you're yeah you're fast but you're, you're still a prey <laughs> You're still, you're still a hunted man. But this rabbit got some claws too. So this man lets rabbit go first. And this is what this is what M does, man. This is a killer right here. This is what you got here. Thought broadcasting, paranoia, all these are symptoms, man. So I think what they're liking. Uh, man, I forgot. I think I think I like in Lotto too. He was I think was thought broadcasting, man. Because he was so wild. He gives off this wild, more wild energy. You know, and I thought, yeah, he'd probably be more thought broadcasting because it's like your mind is open and and it's so chaotic. Because when you feel exposed, at least in my situation with the intrusive thoughts and so forth, it was so chaotic that Whenever my thoughts get exposed like that, they, my mind would start racing and saying stupid things, which ends up making me feel more ashamed. And then, and then that, that people respond to that, and it just creates this more chaotic uh, thing that just it just gets more intense and unbearable, right? <clears throat> so you get caught in a stupid feedback loop, right? Um, but I don't know. I forgot exactly what I, I, it is I named. Uh, I kind of put on each uh, character. But this guy, uh, Papa Doc, was uh, was the, the 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 boss, 
And so the thing about thought broadcasting is and this drives uh, it, it's it's also feeds off paranoia, right? It feeds paranoia. Um, is that it exposes all the things you want to keep hidden, right? Things you're ashamed of, you don't want to, want to know, right? So this is what Eminem did, man. <laughs> and I find it, and it made it made it resonated with me so much resonated with me so much because that's what I was now doing and I understood it why I had to do it before I was I'd never thought about it <coughs> I was so more geared toward the opposite right uh, uh, about hiding and, and why is this happening to me and oh no woe is me poor me poor me but what Eminem did was He see this look in his eye, this look in his face, man. He's like, he knew exactly what I'm gonna do. What he did was he took the freaking light, the flashlight that shines in darkness and exposes the darkness. What he did, he took it and instead of shining it on his opponent, his secrets, his darkness, what he did, he took it and shined it on himself, his own darkness, his own shame, his own embarrassment. His own life, his own failures, inadequacies, man, he exposed himself and says, this is who I am. This is what I am. This is my life. It sucks. <laughs> I'm trash. <laughs> Yo, he, he, he tore himself down, man. This is it. And I'm still standing here. <laughs> and he says, yo, what he says? He gave the man the mic and said, hey, tell these people something that they don't already know about me. And he gave him the mic. <laughs> With that, he won. He knocked this. He knocked this guy out. Just, he couldn't do nothing. He froze just like how M froze in the first battle. He couldn't do nothing. Why? Because when you, once you shot, choose to shine the light on your own darkness, you're exposed to shadows in your own heart, your own failures, your insecurities, your own shame. I'm not saying you're going to do it to the whole world, but once you bring light, your light on it, your attention, and you confess it, and you make peace with it, you reconcile with all that's there. So this is what it is, man. This is what I've done. This is where I've been. This is where I am. This is what I'm struggling with. This is it. And then what? How is anybody else going to shine a light and expose what you already exposed, man? Can't do nothing. Can't do it. They can try, but what you gonna sweat it for? If you now bring it into awareness and no longer trying to hide it, what the heck are you gonna be afraid for? What are you stressing? What's to be anxious about? Read. You know, my thought broadcast all you want, man. <laughs> Read all you want. You know, it's already out there. I know it's there. Yeah, you know, it's the mistakes, it's things I've done, things I'm ashamed of, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I'm here now, man. I'm here now, and I'm moving forward, right? See, so you, you know, so you just, you, not right, once you're there, you don't got to stop for that. You got to stop for anybody pulling thoughts from your heads, pres presumably or seemingly, right? You ain't going to have to stop for any of that now. So what? Okay, yeah, this one, I'm naked. I'm naked. Right? And that's really what it to be. You have to be able to be naked and be good. But you have to get yourself naked. Right? Internally. Not externally. Don't go take your clothes off or run around the neighborhood now. Internally. You have to unrobe yourself. Right? You have to do that yourself. Because if somebody else does it, 
it's going to be shameful. Are you going to be ashamed? You're going to be afraid. You're going to you're going to want to hide, run and cover back up. But if you choose them, there's nothing more they can do, man. You take away so much of their power now, right? Because their power is rooted in shame, in fear, in guilt, and all these negative emotions, right? So that's when I saw Eminem do that, man. I I was so lit up because that's what I was doing now, man. That's the whole revelation that came to me. <laughs> and it made so much sense. Blew my mind. And I watched that movie over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Each time, just keep... Just picking up new things of how to respond to his symptoms and how just watching Eminem, how he, you know, the mindset. Because I understood it because I was coming from the same place. It's not in the same situation, but the battle is the same. The nature of it, the same thing. That's why, you know, you don't need to find, see someone who has schizophrenia accomplishing something for you to say, oh, I can do it too. I don't need to see a black person doing something to say I can do it too. You know what I mean? Like, we're all human beings, man. Struggle is struggle, regardless. The same hope that gets you, helps helps elevate you through this is the same hope that's going to uh, help somebody uh, overcome whatever other struggles in, the, in their life, whatever goal they're trying to accomplish. Hope is hope. You know, patience is patience. Courage is courage. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You know? So, that's where I found inspiration from. Man. And I found it in a lot of different places, but that was one of the earliest places, man. After, after it just coming and grabbing me, lighting up my soul inside, that's where the place that I went just to kind of re, just to kind of uh, re, uh, uh, add some more fuel to that fire that was burning or already burning, that got started, and I got to keep just adding some fuel because if you're not careful, that that burns out. You see that with a lot of people who they get inspired to do something, and then they go, and then what happened? Some stress comes and they fade because why? They're not feeding that fire. You got to feed it. Because the winds are coming, some strong winds are coming. And if your fire ain't fueled up, burning hot and bright, the winds are gonna blow that out. You're gonna be once again in darkness, lost and confused, don't know where to turn. So anyway, man, this video went a lot longer than I want to get to do. But hopefully it's good, man. Uh, it's just in general, man, regardless of what the symptoms are, you know, I, I talk about this on, on, on another video, man. But we focus so much on the symptoms, we miss the whole point, right? We miss the whole point, man, because um, it's, it's it's simpler than we're making it out to be. And I'll I'll talk about that in another video. All right, later.